fully tainted. What happened? What happened just now? Ah, I'm fully tainted. If you know Jerry Lewis, you're gonna know something. You're bound for a fucking adventure. Mind trip, mental thing, so ho ho. You never know where you're gonna go, but you're gonna end up at the Venice Surfathon. 27th annual Surfathon is coming up two months from now. And right now you're approaching me in my lab. If you take a look around, you can see I got my kettle. Wait, hold it. Just. I'm brewing beer for the Surfathon. Have you seen Donald J or or um, Don Wapo, a.k.a. Donnie Wilson, a.k.a. Don Wapo? Have you seen those guys? Oh, hmm. No, not around here. You're doing a little acting there? <laughs> no, actually, I haven't seen them. But uh, all truth be told. What's going on here? Homeboy's faded. Are you faded? No, not at all. Actually, Did you make that? Is that yours? This is not mine. Um, but if you take it's a gold mine, what the hell? What? <laughs> What's in there? Work in progress. Straight mad scientist and shit. There's some work in progress going on. If you look over here, got some other works in dude, progress. Dude, Donnie going. Wilson might be in here, dude. Donnie! <laughs> What's happening here, dude? P3 Bruce, get us out of the sun on your way out, doggy. All right, what is it? Oh. All right, tell me about it, bro. So here's the thing. Huh? There's a... In the, in the situation of life, we all have to reveal ourselves, and there's, every once in a while we run across some sort of impedances, whether it's political or religious, however you want to program your life. But we all deal with stuff, so I thought it would be cool to brew beer. So I've been learning to brew beer. I'm on my third hundredth gallon. The cool thing Wait, about dude, say that in English. You're on your third hundredth third gallon. Third hundredth what is that gallon. Mean? <laughs> I started brewing. Okay, is that let's, shit strong or what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I started brewing beer November twenty eighth, twenty eighteen. Was my first five gallon batch on the stove here at P3 Brews. Since then, I've brewed hundreds, literally almost 300 gallons. Probably How many does that hold? That is a 10 gallon pot. What's that for? Does that say gasoline? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fermenter back in here. Oh, this is serious science over here, bro. Got another fermenter right here. Who are the first people to drink beer? I believe the Egyptians way back when. We're talking like, uh, what was it, 2000? So 4,500 years ago? Wait, sorry. My bad. About 4,500 years ago to answer the first question. The second question. Uh, Donnie Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't like seen that guy. Did. All right, back to the science. Oh, look. This is like everyone sees that on a moonshine movie, right? What's that, the coil, copper coil? This is a uh, copper coil, <laughs> you're absolutely right. If you shoot fluids through these tubes, in and out, in and out. Why do you say fluids, dude, it's beer. No, this is actually cooling, See? cooling agent. This is for cooling agent. Freon? Um, glycol. But glycol alcohol? Could be, possibly, but this, this, uh, wad of copper yep. submerges into your hot tea or your wort and cools cools it so once you're done boiling your your wort that's at this in this pot it would be like three gallons yeah um, and then you can cool it off real quick and get it ready for yeast without having any bacteria build up so the shortest time bacteria good or bad bacteria bad bad the, the, <laughs> the trick is about Don't brewing is that from when you boil it to the time that you add the yeast, you want about zero amount of time. And it, it won't be zero, it could be a few hours, but it's very cleanliness in brewing beer is next to godliness. Cut. <laughs>